Next Week in Wolfboro is underwritten by the Downtown Grill Cafe. The Downtown Grill Cafe is located at 33 Main Street in beautiful Wolfboro, New Hampshire, with a fantastic view of Lake Winnipesaukee and Cape Park. Hours of operations are daily from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. For more information about this underwriter, check out the website, www.downtowngrill.cafe. Welcome to Next Week in Wolfboro. I am your host, Caden Lang, filling in for Will, Will Hunter. Hello, Wolfboro. I am Jack Larson, filling in for Caden Lang this week. Thanks for coming to help me out with the show again, Jack. No problem, Caden. Thanks for having me. Anytime. We are coming to you from the Wolfboro Community Television Studios, where we bring your community to view. We say thank you to our friends at the Downtown Grill Cafe for underwriting Next Week in Wolfboro. It is through their support and yours that programs like ours are possible on Wolfboro Community Television. If you would like to underwrite a program for Wolfboro Community Television, please contact our producers at 569-0219. Let's hear about what is happening in Wolfboro the week ahead. Our friends from the Wolfboro Area Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Bailey and Mary Ann Murray, are at the train station to tell us all about what's happening around Wolfboro in the days ahead. Hello over there. Hi, and welcome to Next Week in Wolfboro. My good friend here, Marianne, and I are going to tell you all that we know about our community this next week. So, Marianne, start us out with the 26th and 27th, and okay. any other day you want to. Okay. Well, I'm going to start out with the 26th and 27th, and we're going to then proceed to the following weekend, the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th mm -hmm. of August, because the Village Players perform for two weekends in a row, and... 7.30 in the evening, the 26th and 27th, and the 2nd and 3rd, and they also have a matinee to close out their show on the Sunday, the 4th, at 2 p.m. Do you want to tell us what they're going to see? I'm going to tell you what I'm they're sorry, going to see about because the they, oh, that's all right. No. Because it's, it's like what we talk about here, Our Town is the name of the show. It's Thornton Wilder's famous show, Our Town. And it's going to be a very exciting show, I'm sure. They always put on a great performance. So again, that's 26th, 27th of July, mm -hmm. 2nd, 3rd, and 4th of August. And the 4th is a 2 o'clock matinee performance. And you may call 569-9656 for more information. All right, Alan. Where is, where is yes. it going to be held? It's going to be held at the Village Players Theater. Well, there you go. Where is that theater? That is on Glendon Street? Union. Union Street, so okay. I just thought I'd catch you a little bit. Oh, there. But anyhow, No, that's great. It's going to be great. I know the people who are in it, they're wonderful yes. actors and actresses, so don't miss it. We've got four performances that you can, four or five, four, that you can see, and uh, uh, we hope that you do five performances. Yeah, right. So the uh, Wolfboro Art Walk is happening on the 27th, which is downtown Wolfboro, and you walk around and see the art that's here, and there's some beautiful art. Um, some artists who actually do art I have a couple of locations, plus other people who are going to be showing their art too. So uh, you'll be able to do that from 5 p.m. until 7.30 p.m., 27th, downtown Wolfboro. And if you want more information on where to go and who to see, 569-3994. Okay. okay, Studio 2. Studio 2 on the 27th also. Uh, the Beatles Tribute. That's always a fabulous show down at the Wolfboro Community Bandstand at Cape Park. So... Studio 2, yep. the Beatles Tribute. 7 and 9, 27th, and um, I don't know who's putting it on. Studio 2 is putting it on. Yes. Silly Alan. Okay, on the 27th, you can get the name for me because okay. I can't pronounce it. That's all right. The 27th, 2, Rhiannon Giddens, our native daughters, is going to be performing for the Great Waters Music Festival. And for more information with regards to that performance, it starts at 7 p.m., and you can call 569-7710 for more information. I'm going to call that number anyhow to make sure I pronounce the name right, if nothing <laughs> yes. else. But uh, if it's great waters, it's going to be a great presentation. Yes. You know that. That's going to be on the 27th. Okay. And the 28th? The 28th is a cruise on the Winnie Bell for diabetes. And that's leaving the town docks, the Wolfboro town docks, at 2 p.m., and for more information on that cruise, call 569-4670. Great. Great. You can call us butter because we're on a roll. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Anyhow, never mind. Uh, 29th. Uh, and, and very smooth. Right. 
Okay, we have a late discovery camp going on for kids, uh, session two, put on by the New Hampshire Boat Museum. And give me the dates on that one, please. The dates on that are the 29th of July to August 9th, and it runs from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. And for more information, you may call the New Hampshire Boat Museum at 569 Four five five four. These camps are beautiful. Okay. They have a lot of fun. Yeah. So call them up, make an arrangement to have your child or a friend that you know have their child involved in this because it is a ton of fun and you'll enjoy it. They'll enjoy it. Okay. I'll enjoy it too. I'm a kid. That's right. You know I what know. I mean? So yeah. uh, that goes on. We've got that and we have here uh, My Life as a Marine at the oh. Wright Museum. That's going to be great. My Life as a Marine at the Wright Museum. It's part of the lecture series and um, it's at the Wright on the 30th. 7 to 8 p.m. Uh, my Life as a Marine. For more information, call 569 1212. Okay, yes, before we go, Alan, we have two programs running concurrently okay. at the New Hampshire Boat Museum. I see why we skipped that one. Yes. On the 29th to the 9th is the Youth Boat Building Program mm -hmm. at, at the New Hampshire Boat Museum, and that too runs from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And actually, I will correct myself that the Discovery Camp for Kids, Session 2, runs from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. as opposed to 9 to 3. If you're, if you're confused... Just call 569-4554. That's what okay. I would do to find out all the information and get the straight skinny on this. Right okay. On. okay. Keep going. We're What's in, into August. Are we August already? Oh, yes, we Run are. for Hope 5K event. Uh, Glendon Street parking lot is where it starts. Run for Hope. 5K event. Now, 5K is a pretty good run. You going to join that? You going to run that? Oh, no. Oh, no. no okay. Not well, I don't yet. Think, I probably no, won't not running. It, I know a lot of younger people who will be doing it, and, yes. and good for them. That starts at 4 p.m. It starts at the Glendon Street parking lot, which is around the corner and down here. More information on that, please call 641-9441, extension 329. So um, that's on the 1st of, of August. On the 2nd, we have... On the 2nd, we have another Great Waters Music Festival performance called Red Molly, mm -hmm. and that starts at 7 p.m. And for more information, 569-7710. You know, the, the performances that are put on uh, by the Great Waters this year have been spectacular. Oh, Absolutely yeah. spectacular. So join them for Red Molly on the 2nd of August. On the 3rd of August, we have... On the 3rd of August, we have that performance of the Thornton Wilder's play, and we also running at almost the same time, we have the New, new Legacy Swing Band at the Wolfboro Community Bandstand at Cape Park from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. If you're struggling with a, con with a conflict here of which one do I go to, you know, you really could go to a Legacy Swing Band because there are other dates that right. Thornton Wilder's out of town are going to be playing. So uh, we'll tell you again about those with the swing band uh, at the Wilpro Community right. Bandstand. And I look up every time I say the Community Bandstand and say, yeah. thanks, Doug. Thanks, Doug Katie thanks. made that thing available for us. Yeah. And um, we're using it wisely, I know. Yes, we are. Okay, it's what's up now? Thing. Okay, well, that's it for, that, for this week. We are up to August 4th already. We are. Oh, amazing. We I are. Someone's it's incredible, isn't it? The way it's just zipping by. It does. Okay. So, what do you want to tell these folks? I'm going to tell them to shop, dine, and have fun in your town. And that's Wolfboro. You knew that because that's who you tuned into, I should say. Um, enjoy yourselves, folks. Have a great week. Join us next week. And for gosh sakes, go out and hug somebody, please. Okay. Have a nice week. Bye bye. You too. Bye. Will back to the station and to you. Thank you, Mr. Bailey and Marianne Murray. Here are some things Jack and I would like to share with everyone. We will start with Friday, July 26th. The Wolfboro Public Library is closed on Fridays for construction. Don't forget to watch Mike Denae and Charlie Hosek, local teachers and coaches, as they are well into their Season 2 on their weekly sports talk show called Mike and the Hoss. The program plays on Channel 26 at 5 and 11 o'clock right here in Wolfboro. Brewster Academy is hosting a basketball camp at the Smith Center from 9 o'clock in the morning until 12 noon for the boys and girls from ages 7 to 11. And from 1 until 4 o'clock in the afternoon, there is a program for boys and girls ages 12 to 16. Our Town, a wonderful musical by Thornton Wilder, will be presented by the Village Players at the Village Players Theater on Glendon Street at 7.30 p.m. On Saturday, July 27th, 
Wolfboro Historical Society presents a hands-on flower arranging workshop with Linda Syracusa. If you want to participate, you must pre-register by calling 986-7053 so she can have the right amount of flowers. The workshop takes place in the Clark Museum barn from 10 o'clock in the morning until 12 noon. Participants will take home beautiful flower arrangements. Bring your chair or your favorite blankie to the Friends of the Cape Park Bandstand concert at the Cape Park Bandstand. The program this week features a returning favorite, Studio 2, the Beatles tribute at 7 o'clock in the evening. They will present the most fun years of the Beatles from 1962 to 1964. The Wolfboro Area Creative Arts Center, Kingswood Children's Summer Theater presents Beauty and the Beast at the Kingswood Arts Center at 7 o'clock in the evening. Our Town is on stage at the Village Players Theater again at 7.30 p.m. The Great Waters Music Festival is thrilled to host the Grammy-nominated Rhiannon Giddens in the Anderson Hall of the Brewster Academy campus at 7.30 p.m. On Sunday, July 28th, come and worship in the atmosphere of the Lord's creation at Cape Park with the First Congregational Church during their half-hour service, which starts at 7.30 a.m. The organization Camp Carefree is sponsoring a local camp on Merry Meeting Lake to give kids with type 1 diabetes a traditional camp experience. To raise funds for the camp, the Wolfboro Lions is having a two-hour cruise on Lake Winnipesaukee on the Winnie Bell, departing at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The Wolfboro Area Creative Arts Center Kingswood Children's Summer Theater presents Beauty and the Beast again at the Kingswood Arts Center at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Kingswood Knights High School and youth football camp start at the high school alumni field from 5.30 until 7 o'clock p.m. Training camps continues until Thursday, August 1st. This is an instructional non-contact football camp for football players grades 3 to 12. For more information, please call 569-4983. Our town is on stage at the Village Players Theater again at 7.30 p.m. On Monday, July 29th. Every Monday until September 2nd, the Wright Museum will join more than 2,000 other Blue Star Museums, providing free admission to the museum for those currently serving in the U.S. military. For those of you who frequently use or live on Bay Street, a stockholder public meeting will be held at 6.30 p.m. in the Great Hall at the Wolfboro Town Hall. A consultant will present the problems and alternatives to constructing sidewalks along Bay Street. On Tuesday, July 30th, the Wolfboro Public Library's Mystery Book Group will discuss The Widows of Malabon Hill, which is an extraordinarily fictional sleuth story, at 10 o'clock in the morning. Preschool Story Hour takes place at the Wolfboro Public Library at 10.30 a.m. The Back Bay Path by the Chamber of Commerce Railroad Station is the best place to view the model sailboat racing on Back Bay from 1 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The Wright Museum Lecture... This Tuesday features My Life as a Marine by Carol Moore, discussing her experience as an officer from the end of the Vietnam War through the end of the Cold War. The lecture is at the Wright Museum at 7 o'clock in the evening on Wednesday, July 31st. Remember, the library is open from 12 noon until 8 o'clock p.m. on Wednesdays during construction. If you missed preschool story hour on Tuesday, you may bring the kids to the Wolf World Public Library at 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday for an encore presentation. A universe of stories blast off every Wednesday for, for the summer at 1.30 p.m. This is for children who are preschool age through teenagers at the Wolf Row Public Library. There will be programs, prize drawings, story times, crafts, reading challenges, and more. For more information, contact the Wolf Row Public Library at 569-2428. On Thursday, August 1st, the Wolfboro Area Farmer's Market is at Clark Park every Thursday throughout the summer and well into the fall. They often have fresh vegetables, fruits, dairy products, gourmet mushrooms, fresh fish, cut flowers, meats, honey, herbal products, baked goods, vegan ice cream, a variety of prepared foods, and much more. Live music is provided by local musicians each week. The weekly farmer's market is open from noon 30 until 4.30 p.m. And shaded picnic tables are available too. This day is another opportunity to watch the model sailboat racing 
on Back Bay from 1 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The library will be reading stories about farms and agriculture to the Tiny Tots at 2.30 p.m. On Friday, August 2nd. The Wolfboro Public Library is closed on Fridays for construction. The Lakes Region Newcomers Club will hold the first Friday of the month breakfast meeting at the Wolfboro Inn. They will meet in the downstairs function room at 8.30 a.m. The Lakes Region Newcomers Club is for newcomers in name only. It is open to new and longtime residents in the Lakes Region. Our Town, a wonderful musical by Thornton Wilder, is presented by the Village Players Theater at 7.30 p.m. A special question and answer session regarding the creative process of this production of Our Town with director Scott Lounsbury will take place after this performance. If you love American country blues and bluegrass music, this concert is for you. The Great Waters Music Festival presents the Trio Red Molly in Anderson Hall at 7.30 p.m. On Saturday, August 3rd, bring your chair or your favorite blankie again to the Friends of the Cape Park Bandstand concert at the Cape Park Bandstand. It features the new Legacy Swing Band at 7 o'clock in the evening. Our Town is presented again at the Village Players Theater at 7.30 p.m. On Sunday, August 4th, come and worship in the atmosphere of the Lord's creation at Cape Park with the First Congregational Church during their half-hour service, which starts at 7.30 a.m. The Wolfboro Agriculture Commission invites you to their annual open farm day between 11 o'clock and 3 o'clock p.m. Families can visit five local operating farms up close. The farms are the Bly Farm at 628 Center Street, the Top of the Hill Farm at 50 Martin Hill Road off Route 109, and the Full Moon Farm at 250 Wombat Road. Two other farms on the other side of town are the Bog Iron Farm at 210 Browns Ridge Road and the No View Farm at 645 Browns Ridge Road. This is a great opportunity to be with the animals up close and see how produce is raised right here in Wolfboro. Our town is presented for the last time at the Village Players Theater at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Don't miss it! Some upcoming and ongoing things for you to consider include... Delivery music. The Libby Museum is open from 1 to 3 o'clock in the afternoons. One of the new features on display is the beautiful nature photography by Jane Kelly. The Jane Kelly nature pho photographs will be on display until July 31st. The museum will also have exhibits which feature stuffed animals and beautiful paintings. Over the summer, the museum offers art classes, kids programs, and every Wednesday they have live animals. The Wolfboro Senior Center at the All Saints Episcopal Church is closed for the summer season. You must get a fire permit for the town of Wolfboro for any outdoor burning, including small brush fires. You may be able to get your permit online. Please call Wolfboro Fire Department for instructions and for more information. The number is 569-1400. The New Hampshire Boat Museum is open for the summer. If you need help in drafting your living will, come to the Huggins Hospital Cafe Advanced Directives session from 1.30 until 2.30 in the afternoons on the first Wednesday of each month. Guidance will be provided for the process of drafting a living will and designating power of attorney for health care decisions. For more information, please call 569-3714. Remember that the Lakes Region Household Hazardous Product Facility is open every third Saturday of the month during the months of June through October from 8.30 a.m. until 12 noon. Medications are accepted only at the June and August collections. Downtown Wolfboro par summer parking restrictions are now in effect. Parking duration on all downtown streets, include those at Dockside, have been limited to two hours. If you have questions about parking in Wolfboro, please call the non-emergency police number 569-1444. Okay. Let's hear from the Parks and Recreation Department for an update on their summer and upcoming programs. Assistant Recreation Director Justin Chafee is at the desk. Over to you, Justin Chafee. Thanks, guys. Justin Chafee here with Wolfboro Parks and Rec giving you some updated news on what we have going on here and what we have coming up in the coming weeks. Um, big thing now, we're still full, full go into summer mode. We have sailing lessons, tennis lessons, swim lessons, day camp, all kinds of great programming um, available that you can still sign up for. Uh, to do that, either visit our website or come into Pop Whale and Ice and Art Center and visit us, and we'll be happy to get you signed up. 
Uh, the big, big event we have going on for the 38th straight year is our Granite Man Triathlon. That's going to be August 17th down at Cary Beach is where it starts. Um, still running that. It goes to um, all money raised there goes to a scholarship for a uh, local Kingswood Regional High School student um, to help them uh, pay for college. So it's a great, great, um, great thing to get involved with. It's super fun, uh, challenging. So if you want to do that or if you want to volunteer and help us out, um, just reach out to us here at the office and we'll be happy to help you. Uh, next thing we'll, we're starting to prep for now is fall sports. So. Be on the lookout in the next few weeks for some soccer and field hockey information that should be coming your way soon. Uh, that's all we have for today. Back to the studio, and thank you guys. Have a good day. Thank you, Justin Chafee. Now let's go over to the library to hear from Library Director Cindy Scott. Over to you, Cindy Scott. Coming up at the library, for the adults who use the library, on Tuesday, July 30th, we have It's a Mystery Book Chat, The Widows of Malabar Hill by Sujata Massey. It's at 10 a.m. On Wednesday, July 31st, we have the Lakes Region Genealogy Interest Group Summer Series with D, and that will be at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints on North Main Street. That's at 10 a.m. For children, we have our usual programming. The Tuesday, July 30th, program is the preschool story hour at 10:30. We repeat that on Wednesday, July 31st at 1 p.m. And then on Thursday, August 1st, we have our toddler time story hour at 10:30. Back to you. Thank you, Cindy Scott. We now have a report from Deacon Charlie Ferrero at St. Catherine Drexel Catholic Church. Hello, Deacon Ferrero. Hi, it's Deacon Charlie from St. Catherine Drexel. Let me give you our lineup for this coming week. On Monday the 29th, from 7 to 9 p.m., we have the Discovery Group. Okay, and then on Thursday, uh, the 1st of August, we have the uh, praying, praying the Rosary from 6 to 7, and then a prayer meeting from 7 to 9 o'clock. On Friday, we have Eucharistic Adoration from 8.30 to uh, 2.30, and later in the morning, we have Mass for First Friday at Wolfboro Bay at 10 a.m. But the really big news this week is we want to tell you about our parish picnic, which is going to be on August 25th. We will have the Gospel Choir coming up from Massachusetts and the Boston Archdiocese to sing with us. And then afterwards, from 12 to 4, we'll be having a picnic at Camp Bernadette. So we invite you all to come and join us and to let the parish know so we have plenty of whatever we need in terms of food and games for the kids and the adults. Thank you. Thank you Deacon Ferrero. Okay Jack, we did it. Yes, that's all we have for this week. Thank you for tuning in to our weekly program. Remember, there's always something to do in and around Wolfboro. If you would like to add an event to our program, please contact our Wolfboro Community Television Station at 569-0319 or send an email to wctv25 at gmail.com. We hope to see you out and about. And we, and we look forward to seeing you next week. William, William would have me say, with clear eyes and full hearts, I am Caden Lang. And I am Jack Larson for Wolfboro Community Television. Bringing your, your community, community to you.